One of the nice things that QuickBooks uh, added a few years ago was that they added the ability to see, you know, it's handling for you creating invoices, receiving payments, recording deposits. But to actually see what it does behind the scenes, which transactions it's recording from the accounting standpoint, the debits and credits, QuickBooks created a way for you to go ahead and take a look at that. So let's say we're going to look at a previous invoice here. We have this invoice. And we figured out that this invoice is doing something kind of funny. We don't know what it is, but we want to see... You know, it's telling us here that it's hitting the trim account, the rough account, the hardware doorknobs account, but somehow it also seems to be hitting a wrong account in there. So I can go up to the journal entry up top here where it says journal, and I see what accounts these actually hit. So if you can bear with me here, I'm going to change the type and change the date. We don't really care about that right now. And get rid of the transaction number and the number and we don't really need the class okay so first it's saying it's hitting our accounts receivable for the full twelve thousand four hundred twenty dollars and then it's telling us it's hitting income here are different income accounts that it's hitting all right and then it goes down once it hits the different income accounts so this um, all the way down and then you have your sales tax payable down here too that it hits okay then it has the different cost of goods sold accounts that it, it touches because as you sell off inventory it's going to also hit cost of goods sold so you can review and see if any of these accounts are looking off but these are pretty standard accounts income cost of goods sold and asset accounts okay you can do the same thing on a bill. When I go into enter bills, I'm going to go to my previous bill here, and I can click on a journal and see which accounts that is actually hitting. So if you care about those debits and credits, you can pull this up, see it's hitting accounts payable as a credit for 175 and hitting labor income as a debit for 175. So that might not be right because we don't want it to be hitting an income account if it's a bill. So that tells us that we need to go look at installation. All right, so I'm going to go up to my lists and my item list and find my installation labor. And I'm going to right click and edit this item. Notice how we have it hitting income only. But if this is used, if we purchase this as well, what we want to do is we want to check off this little box here and say, not only do we have income for this item, we also have some expense. Okay, so any time that this item is on a bill, it's going to hit subcontractor expense. Any time it's on income, it's going to hit income over here. So I'm going to say OK here. It's going to give me this warning. You've changed this account. All future transactions will result in the bill going to subcontractor expense. Do you want to also update existing transactions? So I'm going to say yes. All right. So now when we go back to this journal, instead of hitting the income account, which wouldn't be correct on this bill, it's going to hit the subcontractor expense account, which is where we really want it to go.